What up, Yerp? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, and this video here was inspired by Mr. T Fly. He did a video about Call of Duty. He basically played as many Call of Duties that he had. And I'm gonna take it a little bit further, man. I'm gonna take you back all the way back to the very first Call of Duty, and these are all, all the Call of Duties I own. And I'm gonna give you my opinions on them and you know how I felt about the game. And um there's gonna be two games I'm gonna leave out, and that's the big red one by Treyarch and World of War by Treyarch because I did not own those two titles. But this is going to be my ode to Call of Duty, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, it's going to be a long video, but <laughs> we can make it through it. Back in 2003, a few developers from EA Sports who worked on Metal of Honor Allied Assault decided to break off and form their own development company called Infinity War, and they later merged with Activision. The first game they put out was Call of Duty. This game, and I remember getting this game back in 04 after watching on MTV, not MTV, um, G4 Arena, and I was like, man, this game looks amazing. And I went out and bought it, and I fell in love with it as soon as I got it online. I didn't understand the whole thing with cable and dial-up because I was playing it on dial-up, and it took me a while to figure out that I, I had lag, and I was, it was like hard for me to kill people, but after a while, I got used to it, and pretty much began destroying kids who actually had cable while I was on dial-up until I later on got cable. But this game was great, man. I had so much fun with it. Um, back then, Call of Duty was a lot more realistic than the Call of Duty you have nowadays. I mean, headshots were instant kills and things of that nature. And then, in 2003, actually 2004, um, Infinity Ward decided to give us an expansion pack for the original Call of Duty, which was Call of Duty United Defensive. This game gave you tanks, um, a whole bunch of vehicles, new weapons, new campaign, um, they updated the graphics a little bit and bigger maps that were uh, more suitable for the vehicles. Also, they gave you, you know, game modes that were more suitable for vehicles too. And on top of that, they allowed you to play the smaller maps that were on the original game along with it. So you had the choice to choose from the bigger maps and the smaller maps, which will make this game the best Call of Duty I've ever played in my life. Um, this is the greatest Call of Duty to me. No Call of Duty is ever going to match this game in my opinion. This is the one I had the most fun on. This is the one I used to play day and night. I remember just being in school like, man, I can't wait to get home, can't wait to get home. As soon as I get home, I hop on the game or <laughs> do my homework sometimes first and then hop on the game. And I would play it all night. Like, I just couldn't get enough of this game. And um, what you're seeing on the screen are a few mods. Like, you see the red dot and you see the hit markers. The game didn't come with those. There were no hit markers in the game. You just had to know that you were shooting them by blood splatting off of the guys. But the mods kind of, you know, started the whole hit detection thing and uh, hit marker thing. So it was pretty good, man. I mean, like I said, I enjoyed this game the most out of all the Call of Duties. And this game right here, <laughs> Call of Duty 2, um, came out in 2005 with the Xbox uh, 360. It was a release game. And you could pretty much tell because the game just felt rushed. I mean, it was... In my opinion, this is the worst Call of Duty I've ever played in my life. Um, as you can see, I didn't even take time to put my name in there while I was playing. I just left it as Unknown Soldier because I just hate this game. Um, the controls just felt clunky. The, they lowered the recoil from the original Call of Duty so you could shoot straight lines. Plus, they still kept the instant headshot kill, so it was just stupid easy like that. But you felt real slow. They took Sprint away from the game like United Fists have had. They took vehicles away. And... It just it was just a horrible game. I just didn't have much fun with it at all. And then on top of that, this game created something that we all know and hate in the Call of Duty series nowadays. The one thing that every big commentator complains about, especially El Prez and things like that, and that's right here. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this game created the quick scoping. As you can see, this guy showing you right here how to quick scope. <laughs> Now this game here is Call of Duty 3 by Treyarch and it was released in 2006 for the consoles only. If you had a PC and you were playing Call of Duty on the PC, man, you couldn't pick this copy up. So I was just fortunate enough that I bought a 360 and I knew about this game. Because this game, it didn't get a lot of uh, publicity. Like it, You really wouldn't have known about this game unless you were like me and were on game trailers and saw like trailers of it. So I kind of knew about this game, but I didn't have an Xbox at the time, but I later went and bought one, and I bought this game. And this game was very innovative, and as you can see right here, this guy being picked up by a medic, because they took what Battlefield had and put in this game. You had certain classes and things like that, 
and they also stayed true to how the older Call of Duty was, uh, United Offensive, which was my favorite Call of Duty. You know, they added vehicles, they had big maps for vehicles, they had small maps for just gun on gun, and they put sprinting and cooking grenades back in the game, which uh, Call of Duty 2 took away. And the game was just much more, it was just much more difficult. They had instant headshot kills, uh, the guns kicked a lot. And also, they didn't have that knife thing that you have nowadays. You actually had to bash with weapons, and like, just like the older Call of Duty, the heavier the gun, the, uh, the quicker you bash the opponent down, as you see right there. So this was one of the best Call of Duties and the best Call of Duty on the consoles, in my opinion. Now this game here is the game that we all know about and everybody all knows and love, except for your boy Tick. You know, I like the game, but I don't love it that you know as much as everyone else. Everyone considers this the best Call of Duty that ever came out, and you know I'm not mad about that because most console guys, this would have been the first Call of Duty ever played. This game had so much publicity for it that, you know, everybody knew about it. And that's why I think it goes down as the best Call of Duty is, uh, I mean, it was innovative at its time. You know, they started the whole perk system, the kill streaks, but it also dumbed down the game, which in my opinion was when I said this game was going to be the demise of Call of Duty. It was just going to get worse and worse each year. And I could be right about that now. But um, the game wasn't bad, it was still fun, but like I said, it was just too easy mode, you know, no one shot, headshot kills and things like that, perks and score streak, only kill streaks or whatever. Now, skipping World of War, because I didn't have that game, in 2009, Infinity War jumped back in with Modern Warfare 2. Now this game, I do like this game better than Modern Warfare, um, just because, you know, it added a few more things to, you know, what Modern Warfare brought to the table, like more perks, more kill streaks, and you know they, they brought the whole picking a call calling card or whatever it's called, whatever that card is, but things like that. And I just had so much fun with this game, man. Um, I used to play with my homeboys up here just about day and night. Just we just used to sit in the party, just having a ball, just slapping kids, or we used to go against each other. And a lot of people don't like this game as much because of the noob tubing and stuff like that. But like I said, I believe I started the noob tubing as soon as I got Danger Close, like early in to when the game released to the cycle of the game I immediately threw it on with noob tubing and started noob tubing people um also man you know this game was innovative because they added the end game kill streak which was the nuke you get 24 kills um and you without dying you would get you would get a nuke unlike the moab it doesn't matter if you get it with your kill streaks if you get 24 kills you get the nuke and it ends the game so I used to have a whole bunch of fun on this game man it's one of the greatest call of duties to me now this game here is from Treyarch back in 2010, released after Modern Warfare 2. This game, Black Ops, to me is the best um, Call of Duty out the most recent Call of Duties. Um, still, hands down, it's the best one to me. Only because um, it just felt like this game took a bit more skill to play. Um, the guns had a lot more recoil. Um, and that's what I like, man. I just like realism. I like the game to be harder so I can feel like I actually am better than someone. I didn't pull the trigger faster than them. You know, I actually had to know how my gun works and actually kill them with aim and stuff like that and controlling my weapon. So that's why I like this game. Um, also, you know, it had the flamethrower, which I'm so upset they took out the game because I used to love lighting guys on fire. Also, it was innovative with the uh, customization. You could customize your emblem and things like that, which was great. Also, they added the money system, which they took away. And on top of that, you had the wager games, which wasn't innovative, but they did take it from other games and put it in Call of Duty. So it was new to Call of Duty. Things like the gun game and things like that. You know, even though they came from, you know, other games like Counter-Strike and stuff like that, but it was new to Call of Duty. And uh, it was very, it was very fun. You know, you play that on your downtime whenever you were bored of just playing a regular game on multiplayer or playing a single player. Um, so all in all, man, Black Ops... Is definitely you know out of the most recent Call of Duties and I mean the ones like from 4 and up I would say that this is the best Call of Duty out of all of those not the best Call of Duty ever get the Duke not the best Call of Duty ever because you know um, United Offensive definitely still holds that and this game oh man this game oh this game it's not much I can say about this game other than I hated it really wasn't anything innovative about this game at all except for um, the strike the strike thing where you can the strike package where you can actually any class you make you can actually put a strike package for your kill streaks up there and perks and stuff like that which was actually pretty good so you didn't have to just have the same kill streaks with you know 
all your different perks. You could actually choose from different ones and stuff like that, which was great. Also, they had the specialist thing on there where you could just be like a superhuman from racking up kills and getting every single perk and things like that. And they also want, you know, they had the nuke, so they decided to add the Moab, which wasn't an in-game kill, kill streak. But you get 24 kills with just your gun, you would get a Moab. And it had to be just your gun. But other than that, <laughs> the game, I hated it. Alright, and then it brings us to the present. Black Ops 2, released by Treyarch in 2012. Well, y'all could just say present. <laughs> now, this game, don't get me wrong, it's better than Modern Warfare 3, but it's not saying much. I like the whole score streak thing they added to the game, which is very great. I like the attachments that they added that take over for the perks. That's a great thing. The guns are very balanced. That's a good thing. The maps are pretty good. Some bad, but some good. But the game fails with the spawning and the hit detection and the lag just like with Modern Warfare 3. I didn't mention that for that game, but it had all those issues. And this game is suffering the same. I wish it would have stayed true to the original Black Ops, but it didn't. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is like a piece of shit, and this is like a piece of shit with sprinkles. So it's not saying much. It's still better, but just not saying much. But anyway, man, this comment's coming to an end. Um, I know it was long, but I'm, I'm glad you guys sat there and listened to my old The Call of Duty. Um, I don't know what the new Call of Duty would bring, but you know, it's going to be the 10th year anniversary next year for Call of Duty. So we're just hoping for the best. Hopefully, you know, you know, do like Halo and go back to the old system. You know, we won't have the horrible lag comp and things like that. And it'll just be a good game whenever Modern Warfare 4 comes out. But anyway, man, it's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan, the Gaming. And thanks for watching. I'm gone. Bye!